Let's see what the fuck going on. Let me back up so you can see what's going on. We're going to take a trip on our favorite rocket ship, flooded through the sky. Little Einstein. <laughs> Damn, as soon as I put y'all up, the shit want to start slipping and sliding. Oh, let me get over real quick. Ugh, I think it's that hind leg I gotta get to keep from kicking. All right, y'all. So, hey, I'm back. Uh, it's your girl pound cake and today is saturday it is the second of march and i'm heading to the airport right now it's about six o'clock and yeah so i'm going to the dominican republic today and y'all why is my trip already starting off ghetto for one i put my wig too far back so it's giving a lot of forehead i'm looking like the fucking lion uh uh damn i look like the lion from the fucking wigs i hate it with this color but um aside from that y'all so the dominican republic requires you to do an e-ticket it's this thing called an e-ticket and of course it's free but you have to fill it out before you even can leave the airport or even get on a flight to get to the dominican republic and i've been trying to do that shit all week and it won't let you select the date right so i'll put like my birthday i'll put my year my month but the day it won't let you it won't give you options for a day and i've tried it all week on different like browsers i did chrome i did i downloaded firefox i used my safari i used my phone like all of the things and it still won't let me select the date and without the date you can't move forward so i sent an email of course they don't reply like the website is glitchy as fuck like it's garbage and i do feel like it's a scheme that ty set up to come to you with the bullshit because i hate it so i looked online looked at forums and of course that's a common issue they're like try it again try it later try different browsers that's how i you know i pretty much exhausted all my options so i ended up having to pay a website because you know there's always websites that help you with like declarations and you know things like that visas and they charge you um because it's free but they know that the sites be glitchy and it be bullshit and you spend all this money on this trip and mind you if i don't do this e-ticket i can't go and the sad part about it is you have to do it to go in and you have to be the one to exit as well. And that's trash. So the reason why I brought that up is because I ended up having to pay last night a website to get my e-ticket. And I paid $105 for something that is free, right? So I'm pissed about that. Because my whole intention was to, you know what, I'm going to just do it with my credit card and then just file a dispute later. But I was like, you know, I'm not going to be negative. I'm going to just pay it because I'm already going on this trip. I already used bereavement to go on this trip. Let's let's start there, okay? And I'm gonna go. You know what I mean? So, unfortunately, is that raindrops? Please no. Anyway, unfortunately, you know I had to pay an additional one hundred and five dollars because I did the. So it was actually sixty nine dollars for the e ticket on the website, but I got it expedited within an hour, so it was an additional like thirty five dollars. Yeah. So I hate that for me. And I feel played because I'm just like, why is it this difficult trying to go to like just trying to go here? You know what I mean? Like I hate countries that are like that. Like work on your website. Why are you trying to goop the Americans? You know what I mean? Like or anybody that's outside of the country. Like why are you trying to goop us? You feel me? Like I thought they do that shit intentionally because they work with those other sites too that are charging people. It's all it's all a corrupt scam. And I think I told you guys before I had a friend that came here twice, but on his second visit here some corrupt shit occurred and i was like i'm never going there but you know what we do two different things so i was like you know i'm gonna go and being that i'm gonna be at a resort i'm gonna just kind of be stationed i'm not doing too much you know what i mean i'm gonna be doing too much exploring so yeah i might cram out two videos from this trip honestly if that that's the maximum because again i won't be doing shit for real and yeah but i'm like you know what dr like stop playing with me like i feel like i'm being gooped i feel like i'm being played and I don't too much care for that. So that's already starting off. Um, but of course I got my motherfucking travel insurance because I don't, listen here, I believe fat meat is greasy. I learned from other people's mistakes. And so yeah, we got our travel insurance because we do that anyway, $7. I think it was like 
small price to pay. I got a hundred thousand dollars in coverage, and yeah. But uh, this wig has bothered me honestly because it's a new wig, and mine just is like the most boneless wig I ever made. Why I have? And y'all know I normally do like five by five closures. I've had this hair forever. I just never did anything with it. And so to kind of keep the goop going on as far as like people thinking like I'll be wearing weaves and shit. The last hair that I had was brown. So I kept this hair was already colored brown because I was going to add some other hair. But then something, it didn't work out. I think the curl was too tight. So I just was like, fuck it. But um, I had a black bundle and I just covered that one the other day and put this boneless ass wig together. And the reason why I'm calling it boneless because why is the only two bundles in a four by four closure? Oops. And the only reason why I'm able to get away with it is because it's curly hair. You can't pull no two bundles if it's a fucking wig with no straight or no body wave hair. That shit gonna be looking hella see-through. Like, yeah. But because it's curly, you got a little leeway. You feel me? I was able to go ahead and kind of do my thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. And yeah, mind you, the space between each track is like that thick. <laughs> for real, for real. So we can't do too much in this hair. But I want something a little different for my trip in the Dominican or what haves. And yeah, I mean, I'm excited. You know, I love a vacation. And this is going to be my last trip for a little bit. I was supposed to go to Mexico at the end of the month. Um, but I'm not sure. I haven't even talked to the guy. And I know his nephew passed. So I know some things are transpiring. Um, and I really haven't heard from him. So that's cool but as i told you guys before i'm moving so i gotta come back home and really get to the business and like pack my shit up and move this house out because you know sometimes i say let bygones be bygones like the house is draining me and my sister were just like let's just check it up call it up we just, we just gonna call it quits on that shit and do some other shit so that's what i want to be doing when i get back so if the vlogs do slow down a bit it's because i'm moving but once i you know get stationed and things settle down we back home so it's a little precursor to what might be in the future but i don't know i might still be cranking shit out because i still got stuff scheduled like i still got plans that i'm gonna have to um still take care of and handle and we're gonna do that so yeah but let me stop chit chatting it's been like seven minutes let me chill preserve some of this battery even though i still got like four others in the in the devil you feel me and this is like the lightest trip i've ever packed for y'all like i brought my backpack just because my electronics are in there like my radio because i don't go nowhere without it i finally got me a battery pack because my phone should not be dying when i'm out and about like after belize and i came back from secret beach and i was driving through the jungle with no phone like what what why am i going through that type of shit like as much as i travel like why don't i have a, a battery pack like that's clownish so i have a battery pack i actually have two uh it came is them sprinkles it is fuck uh it came with two battery packs but i only brought one because again i'm at the resort i'm not doing no adventurous shit for real i'ma just be at the swim up bar consuming drinks i brought my gummy bears you know how i do and yeah i'm excited um as i am for any trip i'm excited i brought one pair of shoes and shoes i have on right now because again we at a resort so we're not doing too much i didn't bring my old faithful walmart tivas because again we're not going to be on the terrains doing the most we're going to be kicking back and doing things that we like to do so we're doing things that the boys don't do okay we ride slow you know you know the you know the states so yeah but anyway we at uh nine minutes so let me go ahead and shut the fuck up and get to this parking structure and I'll get you all later. Ooh, it is the motherfucking raindrops. And I tried to debate if I should stop at a subway because I have this coupon that would have me a little sandwich, something to eat while I ride to, um, or while I fly to Miami because that's the hub that I'll be stopping in. So, and I remember last time I left Miami, it was giving <clears throat> all the way back home. So, mm, I don't think I want it at that airport. I'm gonna just probably stop at Subway because I got some time. My again, my plane leaves at 9:50, um, so I have time. Board starts at 9:15, and it, uh, again it's 6:15 right now. So we doing well. We we doing good. I'm just trying to get to the um the parking lot, depending on when the motherfucker get to the fucking. Cause I'm so now I no longer park at the Hilton because the Hilton Beach. Oh, it's raining, y'all. Mm. Not drip drops, rain drops. Drop tops. Oh no, honey. Ooh. Anyways, um, maybe loosen my little wig so I can slide it forward. <laughs> like that's a lot of forehead, and my hairline literally is like right there. That's why I be wearing wigs because my head been big, and I realized I'm finer when my hairline is brought forward. Like, 
what the fuck? You know what I mean? But anyway, let me um dry sack and know I'm playing the fucking rain. So let me go ahead and get with y'all when I get to the parking structure. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Bye. Oh, these are the driving conditions, y'all. Like, oh, I don't like in my cheap key voice. I don't like this. Slamming on the brakes. Bye. Y'all, this is a little scary. Like, why is it raining so bad right now? Like, it's real, real deal. Like, rain. And I just have on some slip ons, like my little old navy slip ons and some socks. Cause I know I travel with socks, compression socks at that. Cause it's gonna be a long flight. But I don't like any of this, honestly. I feel like. I don't know, but I don't like it at all, for real. Like these conditions, and y'all, like I told y'all before, y'all know I'm playing in the rain, so yeah. Mm, this is very sticky boots, and I don't like, don't like. But I'm almost to the parking garage, and I'm gonna try to stop. Like I said before, I'm gonna try to stop at uh, Subway and give me a sandwich. No way I can kinda eat it cold because I'm not gonna have time to eat it trying to scramble, get to this shuttle. I told you it's kinda ghetto. And then I even finished telling y'all about the Hilton. So I don't park at the Hilton anymore because it's just way too overpriced now. It became too popular. And I found a new parking lot and it's it's not on Century like the Hilton is, like where it's right by the airport. It's mm, some blocks up. But it's like the mojo deals. I'ma just say that. So from Saturday to Thursday, which is, you know, the little time I'm gonna be gone, it was like $33. The Hilton would have went like 110 for that. So yeah, we, I, you know, I'm gonna always put y'all on and we're gonna always go where there's a mojo deals and that's what we're doing. So but the only difference about this, they don't have a 24 hour shuttle. The shuttle ends at 1130 and it's only open at I think at 530. And what else? And the shuttle come like once every 40 minutes. Like that's the only thing I hate about it, but you know what I'm saying? You gotta, I mean, you get what you pay for. Let the car be safe. My car was safe when I came back from Belize. And aside from just the show taking off fucking day, it's a win for me, for real, for real. Like, and you don't have to worry about somebody dropping you off or picking you up and just being inconvenienced and any of that. And you gotta cash in no motherfucking favorite coupons. You just park your damn self come and go as you please and not have to worry about any of that because honestly whenever i get back from a trip my ass be ready to fucking go i don't be wanting to be waiting around for shit and again i have to wait for the shuttle but aside from that i don't be wanting to wait and y'all know how the lx can be so you know if you want i'll put the details for the lot that i'm parking in below so that way you can have them if you're interested if you fly to lax and you don't like inconvenience to others I'm telling you this the plug right here and what the fuck is you doing stay your ass right there but you get in front of me in this rain bitch don't fucking play with me in this rain let me put y'all down because that motherfucking chevy jimmy just tried me right now like i know you welcome to slide up in my lane knowing these conditions cut it out anyway let me go because that caused me great stress and i'm gonna see y'all when i get to the parking lot <laughs> We have secured the goods. I got me a full on chicken bacon ranch. It's only right. Um, but my coupon, I didn't take my coupon there either. Like, why is there coupons in the mail if they're not gonna take them? Like, I hate that. Like, I feel gooped again. I'm just getting gooped my whole situation. Like, I don't appreciate that. So, anyway, um, my parking spot is not till seven o'clock. So I'm a little early. But we still gonna travel over there anyway. I'm gonna park this bitch. Fuck what you talking about. You feel me? Put my sandwich up. We secured the goods on the sandwich. Got my passport. And then here's this stupid ass fucking e-ticket I was telling y'all about. That cost me $105. I'm really mad about that. When it's supposed to be free. It's, it's like one of these little things. It has like a little barcode or a little like QR code on there. Um, yeah. I don't know. It don't sit right with me having to pay for that, but I wasn't gonna cancel my trip because if you don't get it, you can't go. So, yeah, no. 
anyway, I'm heading to the um, parking garage now, so. Let's roll. Who the fuck is Ace? I be getting all these, like, random friend requests on Instagram. I literally have, like, 1,500 requests on Instagram. If I don't know you, you ain't getting in. And that's on my mama and that's on my hood. So, yeah. Bye. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you how Parker just gave me a hard time. I had to download a whole app, my phone to have storage space. Let us pray. Because right now, the way things is going, okay. Let us pray. Anyway, let me go ahead and catch this shuttle before it leaves me. Yeah, I know that should rent every 99,000 minutes, so. Let me go ahead and put my little handy up. We get on now. And let's head to the airport. All right, so leaving Doja. We out of here. We'll go catch this raggedy ass shuttle. You know, pray for me on this journey because I'm a little nervous. <laughs> What was that? I feel. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little early. I'm supposed to be here at 7. It's like 6.40. But the way the shuttle take, it might not come to 7. So, we might be right on time. For real, for real. But yeah. See y'all later.
But we made it, y'all. We're in the Dominican Republic. Gang, gang. There's a lot of spring breakers on here, too, so. But yeah. Look at this hair falling out. I almost cussed this lady out. You gotta tip those people. I like that. When I was young, I had two fair leads. Besides that, the pink stripes oh, and the gray. Uh -huh. The one I wore on uh -huh. Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh -huh. My niggas flirt. Uh -huh. I saw a tiger's oh. on my shirt and alligators. Uh -huh. You wanna see the inside? Uh -huh. I'll see you later. They come the drama. Oh. Oh. That's that nigga with the fake. Uh -huh. wow. Why you punch me in my face? Stay uh -huh. in your place. Uh -huh. Play your position. Uh -huh. They come my intuition. Uh -huh. Go in this nigga pocket. Rob him while his friends watch it. And oh. uh -huh. Here comes respect. Uh -huh. This crew's your crew. Or they might be next. Uh -huh. they oh. I, big man, they never try. Uh -huh. So we will It's not too, too bad. You're going to have one ticket to get towers when you go to the mission. Okay. When you leave, you give it back to me. Yes, ma'am. This is our map. Okay. It just shows you where everything is? Yeah, we are here. Your room is in this building. The buffet is in front. Breakfast is at 6.30 p.m. to 10. Oh, I thought you said it was over there. I was like, uh. No. 12.30 to 3 lunch. 6.30 p.m. to 10. Dinner? Okay. Right here. A snack bar on the beach. What's this? A snack. A snack, okay. From 11.30 p.m. to 5. Fast food and drinking. Okay. You have five. You have a swim up bar here? What? Swim up bar? What is this? So a bar? With, like in the pool? Yes. Every bar. Every bar. Okay. Every pool has bar. You can use all of them. Okay. Swimmer bar. It's called a swim up. A swimming bar. So it has like a table in there, mm -hmm. like chairs in the bar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's okay. called, we call it a swim up bar where I'm from, but I got you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you. Second stop is the buffet. Okay. Second stop. Yeah. Perfect. And yours. Thank you. This can come with me? Yeah, you can okay. take it. And we're here. <laughs> All right, so I've arrived. Right now, everything is going smooth. And yes, it's a really nice resort. I'm excited. Because that dusty living is not for me. Not having it. It's a little frothy fruit punch. We're gonna go eat. At the buffet. I 
Chickens are trolling. coffee and tea bar your mini fridge again this is all inclusive so yeah I guess that's beer soda and water here are my things you don't get a rope but that's fine I don't too high for that here is the sink cute some little toiletries they give you a magnified mirror so when you do your makeup love that looks like it's also I think it's also um, has a light on it. Oh yeah, so it has a light on it. That's wonderful. But you're not bringing my own mirror. Here is a shower. So they have a little handheld shower, waterfall shower, cute. Here is the bathroom, little toilet, little situation. Cool, cool, cool. And then here is the room. They gave me a double bed, which is fine. Um, I think it's really nice. Super cool. A little desk space so I can probably edit and do my little things here. A little corner, my own little corner in my own little chair. I can do whatever I want to do. Come on, Cinderella. I don't really have a view, and that's fine with me because I'm about to go outside. Let's give it tennis courts, but it's actually empty back there. And here's like a little patio area. Which I won't be in because it's hot. But yeah, I love a little ambient light behind this bed. It's cute. But yeah. We out here. I think my freaking Dominican Republic. But let me go ahead. I'll be back. Ooh. 
Hey y'all, it's your girl Pound Cake. And my bad y'all, it's a little, it's late. What time is it? It is currently nine o'clock here in the Dominican Republic, which is, um, but it's like five o'clock at home in the afternoon. They're four hours ahead of Pacific time here. And yeah, um, I want to kind of give you a little wrap up about my flight earlier I was telling y'all about. Y'all, that shit was so fucking ghetto. Like, it was ghetto with a capital get. Like, I don't understand how that even went down. For starters, I was in the 25th row and I was in the aisle. Long flights, I have to take the aisle because I be having to pee, so I don't want to have to be interrupting anybody or being forced to kind of stay in my seat. Ooh, sorry being forced to kind of stay in my seat. So, I like to sit in the aisle. Well, I was right by the restroom. So, here's my seat, here's the restroom. I got knocked upside the head. I mean, like, it just was crazy. I got hit in the head, somebody fell on me, like, booties in my face. It was out of sight. And then the girl on the row on the left of me, so, like, there's a restroom, but there's a row right there, so, there was this girl in the corner and she was going off on a fucking uh, flight attendant talking about uh, he didn't want to serve her no more drinks. Cause he, he served like eight shots and he was like, this is not a bar. Like, you get you a little, get a little tipsy, get your, have your little taste, get you a little bev and call it a day. And she was constantly like asking for more and more drinks. So she went off with him. I was like, you know what, this is too much too fucking much like it was insane ghetto 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 and i'm like oh my god i'm never sitting by the bathroom again like that's a no for me like we're not doing the bathroom baby that's out so after five hours of that i get to of course miami we in miami hey fuck my baby daddy but um and apparently it's spring break so there were so many kids, like college kids at the airport coming here. So that flight, uh, it was just, hi, I'm getting here. So I get here and yeah, what's crazy has been smooth selling ever since. And why, tell me why the site one started working for me today. So I'm on the flight from Miami to here and the guy, one of the college kids that was next to me, I was like, did you have problems getting your e-ticket? He was like, no, nah, smooth sailing. I'm like, what the hell? And he was like, yeah, but a few of my friends had issues and this, is and that. I'm like, yeah, well, let me do it. He was like, show me. Why I show him and start, I want to start working? So I did them for my, um, the one for here and then the one for when I leave. So I'm calling my bank to get my money back for that other one because why? Like, why are we doing that? Like, you're not finna, you're not finna play with me. Nor are you gonna pay in my face. So, yeah, it's a no. So I'm about to call them right now and get my $107 back, my 105. Because, bitch, Call why? For service in English, press one. Call them right now. For factor Zero. Call, and they're gonna call me back. Because they called me back when I was asleep. But yeah, Thank you. I've kind of been chilling today. Your call. I've kind of just been in the bed. In and out. I went to go eat dinner already. And then I came back and went to sleep. So tomorrow we're going to start go outside and exploring your drunk as fuck. Because why not? We here, baby. Damn, I think I got bit by something. Oh, God. We, got, we in Dominican. And y'all have to sweater on. It's hot. I ain't going to hold you. Yeah, you know, that's my fucked up shoulder. Oh, God. That feels so much better. Like, I just feel so sticky. I'm about to take a shower for real. And, um, go for me. Please stay on the line. <sighs> you can also review our privacy code at vivo.com slash Yeah, well, like, girl, you keep calling here and then we'll call you back. You don't answer. Because I'll be asleep. Because the wait be long. estimated wait time is between 15 and 30 minutes. Rather no. than waiting on the phone, 
We can hold your place in line and call you back when and you are. are. Anyway, so yeah. But um, yeah, I just been here thugging. I really like the resort. It's really nice. Finally, cause y'all know how Belize went. Even though I didn't stay in the resort, I just didn't want to be coming across no shady shit. Like I didn't want to deal with that. And the sh the trip started off hella fucking rocky, but we here, we made it, we dug in, and yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna be real inebriated, and I'll be in the water. Me and my boneless wig. You feel me? Let's give a chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> the wigs give a chicken nuggets because only two bundles, but baby, you can't tell. You can't tell by the way I walk. I'm, you know, you know the lyrics, but anyway, I ain't got really much to say. I'm tired. I'm about to shower, remove this wig so I can reapply it and I place it where it belongs a little further down because I should expose out all the four hizzles. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Shit. 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 Shit.